Let me make myself clear. You don't get to simply waltz in making these demands as if nothing ever happened. Trust is earned. You should earn your conversations with me. Earn? Like we're not all trapped in the same hellish prism of ignorance, angst, and dismay? I'm starting to wonder if you've somehow forgotten the meaning of the word friend. We are not friends. Yes, we fucking are. Just because we haven't talked that much in the border of two sweeps, and I despise the grand majority of what you do as a person, doesn't mean we have nothing of substance still bubbling beneath the surface. <laughs> now I'm under the impression that you've been the forgetful one out of the two of us. So, let me very considerately be the one who clues you in. You see, friendships have values attached to them. If not in a literal sense, then in a subjective, unspoken metric, whether we would like to admit it or not. These numbers fluctuate between highs and lows at any given point. Some friendships may start with low investments, gaining value with time, or vice versa. In the past, the two of us bought in exceedingly high and sold out exceedingly deep into the oblivion of negatives. If you decided to window shop for a new old companion to pal around and sing outmoded butt rock songs with, or whatever it is you still do these days, then I'm afraid you've been misinformed about where we currently stand. Find someone else to push your agenda on. You're far more interested in willing gutters to scrounge. <laughs> oh my god, you're abysmal. Do you even hear what you're saying right now? Who actually talks like this? I don't think you believe half of what's coming out of your mouth. What a friendly response. Goodbye, Art Jack. Wait. Ah, man, seriously. You've never made these kinds of conversations easy. Look, it's really obvious that you're up to something. I'm not sure what it is, and I'm not sure I want to know what it is, but I sure as shit don't like the smell of it. Again, I must reiterate. Delusional. Am I? Why all the goddamn secrecy then? Why all the shady deals and forward-thinking tirades? You're not slick, you know. Even if rocket science wasn't a dead and defunct field, I still would have been able to figure it out. Figure it out? The only thing you've done is make assumptions about me. You've concocted the pieces of an imagined mystery which you yourself have directly stated to know nothing about. It reflects worse on your character than it does mine. Ugh, okay. Back up. This is getting away from both of us. Let me give it another shot. Oh, please. Do go on. You have painstakingly severed yourself from every relationship and stringy fiber of connective tissue in our soul circle because you feel wronged. And you know, in a lot of ways, I recognize that's kind of true. Maybe there's even more to it that I don't get. I'm not the omniscient arbiter of righteousness. But speaking as your friend, your buddy, your comrade, and truthfully, the one person who actually knows you and will still stick his neck out way farther than is reasonable for you. I know when you're going too far for something that's just not worth it. A sound motivational poster. Now all you need is a point. I've got one. From here on out, I'm keeping an eye on you. And on everyone else too, but you especially. I'm touched. I've been wondering where all the guardian angels had gone. Presumably they were on strike for the longest while, but I see that's not the case anymore. Hey, an out and out. Get it while the getting's good. Well, you make such compelling points that I'll just have to craft a damn timesheet for us. <laughs> that's right. You may as well give me a list of your favorite villas. The hell is a villa? It's a decadent place where upstanding citizens of culture go to meander and eat posh cheeses, pondering the circumstances which brought them to the brink. I find myself in desperate need of one to consider why I'm still entertaining this conversation. Perhaps it's nostalgia, the root of all evil. Okay. Now, I don't say this lightly, but maybe you should try taking a page out of my hideous scrapbook and stop pretending to be something you're not. Honestly, I don't even think all of your changes were bad, like in the abstract. You used to be a sniveling neurotic toady, and I was a naive nitwit way too deep in their own head. And I think beneath all of your bullshit, there's just as many good parts of you as there are maddening, infuriating ones. Are you trying to insinuate that you want to fix me? Like a delicate, broken vase? I'm trying to say that I should have been there for you. I never meant to ditch you for so long, Calder. It wasn't you, man. It was everything else. I didn't know how to handle myself, so I just did nothing. For sweeps. I sat on my ass, getting burgers drone delivered to me, self-medicating and wondering where shit went wrong. Yesterday, in some sort of wriggling day apotheosis that could only have been spurred by the most ridiculous life or death situation ever conceived with a bunch of lunatics that I'm stuck with for life, I realized that's not what I want to do anymore. And I think that if a major league fuck up like me can take one little step forward, that maybe you can come along with me. 
I'm not saying that things absolutely have to go back to how they used to be. That's ridiculous. I, I know you're a different guy now, and so am I. But I refuse to believe this is who you really are. So, what do you say we cut our own deal? You stop doing whatever it is you're doing, and I'll keep bothering you. With friendly intentions. Does that sound fair? Spot of my filing cabinet for socially malnourished fuckheads. Hello, my friend. I'll take your most recent bout of silence as an indicator of steady progress. You're leaving me one hell of a mess to clean up. I prefer to call it organized chaos. Mess makes it sound like we don't know what we're doing. For a moment, I admit I wasn't certain of that. It was easy enough to play pretend with those homunculi you dispatched to my hive. Reigns was watching during setup, and that footage you sent in advance has been instrumental in helping me divert attention towards poem and keep most prying eyes away, it's true. However, when you told me that you intended to tear down the remaining corporate infrastructures on the planet, you didn't mention it hinged on a swarm of rallying nutcases. I expected something with a little more class. Most prying eyes? I have it under control. <laughs> it was risky to try and implicate your cult rather than keep to myself, you know. I was certain my claims would warrant at least some scrutiny. Luckily, it seems your earlier dealings with a few of my fellow players served as enough of a distraction. See? All according to the grand plan. You've no need to worry. They wanted someone to blame. Everyone does. And I'd much rather it be me than you. You've dealt with enough of that, I'd say. Besides, it's a useful misdirection. Your group can use me as their scapegoat as much as they please, as long as you are free to act inside the game. Focus on the big picture. We have a world to win. Right. I understand. What happens now? Now? The next phase begins. Let's get you the respect you so rightfully deserve. <laughs>